just stuff here. It's Vernon Kale from VFC Archery. Today we're going to be binding the horn onto the core wood, maple wood that is, for a Turkish horn bow. So we're going to be using high glue and a tool called a tensic that's hooked up with a rope here. And so we'll just kind of explain as we go through it, but it's a quick process. We've got not too long before the glue settles, probably 30 seconds to a minute. We'll clamp it first, then we're going to put the tensic with the rope on it. So watch along. Okay. So this one first. If you want to just hold the tool out of the way first, we'll... oh, just the rope here. Just a little bit. Yeah. I don't think I'll put too heavy on the bottom here yet. Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. The blue with the... Both. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Good job. Yeah, good. And a little bit more here. And I'm going to put it in place. And let's start clamping it down. Let's go right. And, oh, sorry. It's okay. Okay, yeah, clamp right there. Okay, like that. Okay, right there. All the way to the bottom, so one right there, maybe. Okay. A little bit more down here. This is where we might need the heavy duties. Maybe this is really light. Right this. Right here? Yep. Yeah. Right there. Okay. And then here at the bottom. Run up right about there. Right here? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I don't know if she's holding. Let me see here. You look at that? That's okay for now. Yep. Okay, so now we'll switch sides. Okay, so now the, we're going to use a 10 sec, so maybe just get the top one, slide that down just a little bit. applies about 200 pounds per square inch of pressure. Ancient tool, probably close to 5,000 years old. And uh, we're going to go all the way down and come back. This is our third one we've done today, so, and it's about 80, 90 degrees in here, maybe more. So we're getting hot. If you want to pop that one on, just put it down further if you want. There she goes. Okay. Just pop it down there further. Yeah, 200 pounds per square inch. So, the last time we did this with a horn that was wider than the limb, it cracked the horn. So, it's going to be really tight. It's hot in here and we're oxygen deprived, so we're running a, a heater to get it nice and hot in here. Okay. Up. So, it's cool. This tool is called a Tensic. I've got a video on, on my uh, site as well, just demonstrating a little bit more of the history of that. And, it's uh, it's used to make hornbows. If you don't have one of these, your hornbows probably not going to work because you have to make sure that it's bound tight so that glue drives. That'll take this high glue will take well it gels and, and solidifies almost instantly. But uh, they say to leave it about a month, so that means up here where it's quite dry, two weeks maybe. Okay, we can move that other clamp down, maybe. Popped up a bit. Okay, a bit of a pop on it. And I'll speed it up a little bit. Oh yeah, there's still glue coming out there. Okay. This, this uh, 
rope is going to be stuck to the horn, I'm sure, in a few places. So maybe what we'll do here is we'll just switch spots. Yep. Okay. okay. Maybe get rid of this one then. Just keep going here. I think it's that bottom one that I'm going to have to. Yeah, maybe just fold it like that if you can. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a tough. Both the horn and the wood are both grooved. Um, show that in another video, but they're they are grooved. They're not just the two flat pieces against each other, but they're not interlocking, which was the Turkish way. They didn't interlock. finish off the process. Okay, I want to push that in. Okay, well, that's great. You need an assistant that knows what he's doing. In this case, kale. <laughs> So this tool is called a tensic again, and uh, oh, we're going way too far. I've got to go back this way. Okay. Okay. Now we're just going to go around it, back up once. another video if you want to figure out how to tie knots and uh, and once again it's Vern and Kale VFC Archery thanks for watching <laughs>